Sean Montgomery. The worst of the storm appears to have passed, and at least that's the hope, but the rebuilding continues in Winston-Salem. Here's the deal with the 2015 Demon Deacons. Now that all the kids from 2014 are a year older, Wake Forest expects to take another gradual step towards competitiveness after struggling to do anything right offensively. The defense remains ahead of the offense for the foreseeable future after fielding one of the nation's most futile attacks a year ago. That's due in large part to the inexperience and an inability to keep opposing defenders out of the backfield. On defense, Mike Elko's D, though, welcomes back seven starters and most of the front seven. If the Deacons can coach up the corners and the offense can just be okay, this should be a big step forward this season. But how do you help out a struggling offense? You get the ground game going. The one problem with that is that Wake Forest ran for just 479 yards on the year, which, for example, were fewer than the 696 that Ohio State's Ezekiel Elliott ran for in his final three games of the season. The Demon Deacons don't have a Zeke, but the rushing attack, it should be stronger. It's going to take a few upsets to get there, but playing Duke and North Carolina, that's not too bad a break, and Elon and Army are winnable games early on. A win over Indiana at home make it an interesting year after six straight losing seasons, but don't expect miracles. The Demon Deacons should be at least two wins better, so think five wins is a good goal to shoot for. I'm Pete Futek, to dive deeper into the 2015 Demon Deacons, check out the full written preview on Campus Insiders.